Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we will see how to configure DHCP over IPsec and where the DHCP server is actually an external server. So let's get started. So this is my client machine, okay? And this is the firewall. If you see here, I have port four, 10, one, 100 connected to the THCP server. Okay. Let me try to see if the DHCP server is reachable or not. So this is the DHCP server. I'm able to reach the DHCP server. There is a scope created on the DHCP server, which is 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 to 10, 10, 10, 20. So as soon as I get connected to the VPN, I should be able to get the IP 10, 10, 10, 10, and 10, 10, 10, 20 in between the range 10, 10, 10 to 20. Uh, let me show you the configuration on the firewall. So it's pretty simple. Port four is the one that is connected to the external DHCP server, which is 10, 10, 10, 10, 1, 1, 98 DHCP server IP. And this interface is 10, 1, 100. Okay, so my VPN is configured, you can see here. So I'm listening on to port 107, port one. I don't have mode config enabled. This is DHCP over IPsec. Okay, on authentication, you can see pre-shared key. Exot I don't have. Nothing new. So you will have to do some configuration. So So this is a configuration that you have to do on the tunnel interface, which is my VPN interface, you can see here. I have enabled the DHCP relay agent. It is set to enabled. And my DHCP relay type is set to IPsec in the GUI. Well, You will have to go to the interface. And in the interface, you'll find the VPN interface. And in the VPN interface, you can see here DHCP. It's enabled, but it is in relay mode. The IP is IPsec. So you have to have the IPsec 
and then this is the DHCP server IP that I have given here 10.1.1.98 so you can see here in the GUI realize like I said you can enable these settings here DHCP server enable relay mode IPsec this is the DHCP server IP and under the phase 2 I have this configuration DHCP IPsec enabled okay and in the policy you have a normal policy which states from VPN to port 4 which is where my DHCP server is is allowed okay so let me try to take a capture Let me try to open two sessions to show you what will happen if you have a relay agent configured on any of the interface. So this is my 40 client. If you go to edit, this is the peer IP, pre-shared key, disabled exot, version one, aggressive mode, DHCP over IP sec. And you will have to manually enable the split tunneling. For example, here, this is the WAN interface. This is the interface that is connecting to the DHCP server. So I'm going to take the, I'm going to access both the interface IP. One is the WAN interface, other one is the interface connecting the DHCP server. Phase one is pretty simple. Test SHA-1, group two, NAT travel should enable. In phase two, test SHA-1. Okay. So let me try to connect and let me try to take a capture on the firewall to show you what will happen. You can see here 10, 10, 10, 11 was the IP assigned to the system. Let me show you one more time. So if you see here, since I have configured the relay agent on the tunnel interface, which is 10, 10, 10, 10, it is sending a unique cast. 
So my system will initiate a DHCP discover message, which will be a broadcast towards 255.255.255.255. And the same will be intercepted by the tunnel interface VPN zero. And since I have the configuration here in the tunnel interface, to relay the DHCP packet. So as soon as the DHCP discover reaches the tunnel interface, which is VPN zero, in this case, it is going to convert that broadcast into unicast and send it across. So in the capture, like I was telling, so the tunnel interface, somehow I'm not able to capture that. So you can see here, the tunnel interface, which is having the IP So the tunnel interface is having the IP 10, 10, 10, 10, which is in the same scope as 10, 10, 10, 10 to 10, 10, 10, 20 is Okay, so this is the unicast from the tunnel interface to the DHCP server on port 6767. This is how the relay agent and the server communicate. This is the offer message from the server towards the relay agent and then from the relay agent, it will then be uh, doing the broadcast to the client, giving him or assigning him the IP. This is a request from the from the relay agent towards the server. And this is the acknowledgement. So the complete Dora process. Post that you will have the IP 10, 10, 10, 11. All right, guys, uh, let me try one more time to see if I can capture something on this turn interface. You can see here. Uh, like I was telling, the TUN interface is going to unicast the discover, DHCP discover from the client, which is uh, going through the IPsec, reaching the VPN endpoint, and then the tunnel interface is unicasting that to the, this is the actual packet that is reaching the VPN interface. And this is the unicast from the VPN tunnel. Okay, the unicast is not captured here. The unicast will be seen as 6767. I guess I again missed that Dora from the relation towards the DHCP server. Well, it looks like this. This is the client side from the relay agent to the client. And this is the relay agent to the DHCP server. All right, guys, um, that's all in this video. Stay tuned for more update and please do subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.